Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do a monthly reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you want to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Sag. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Sagittarius with clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you this month. Let's see, what, what is the energy for my Sagittarius this month? What's the energy? The Eight of Swords. Okay, so feeling stuck, feeling claustrophobic, feeling like um, maybe even isolated, claustrophobic, maybe like someone's too much on you, too clingy. Um not seeing a way out of this thing whatever it may be um the swirling thoughts in your head you wait for something or someone to come and rescue you if you're not being the agent of change in your life you're waiting for the circumstances to either change or a person to come and change the circumstances for you you're waiting for the the calvary um this is um you get stuck when uh, sometimes the this is the air the air of being good natured so you haven't you being good natured now you're stuck now you're stuck in some some energy of not being able to move forward not being not being able to see your way out of um, this is a negative cycle also. Um, you're thinking about something or someone over and over again. You may have even lost something and you're looking for it. Let's see. It's something you need to release this month, Sagittarius. Let's see what you need to release. The King of Cups. Um, could be a Libra. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um... You need to release your emotions. If you're keeping your emotions pent up, you need to release how you feel. If you're trying to find balance in saying nothing and doing nothing and, and not expressing, um, maybe this is what's making you feel um, stuck, claustrophobic. Uh, the negative swirling thoughts here with the King of Cups. Yeah. Um, you also need to, if you have some creative endeavors or creative work that you do, especially if you are a business owner, you need to release that. You need to let it out. Let it go. Um, don't worry about criticism. Just put it out there, okay? Um, if you have some spiritual, you know, questions or um, if you are... You know, a spiritual person, you need to um, release what you've learned, what you're learning, how you feel. Um, you can express yourself uh, spiritually also, okay? Something you need to reevaluate this month. Let's see what you need to reevaluate this month. The Five of Cups. So this is um, a pent in, all these pent in emotions would make you the eight of swords for this month. That's the energy for this month. Will make you feel stuck, tied down, isolated, not knowing which way to go, wanting something to be over, but you not being the agent of change, holding on to something. The five of cups, you need to reevaluate. Um, you need to reevaluate maybe the breakdown of a connection. Um, maybe you and a person um, severing ties here. It says that the relationship is recoverable. The Five of Cups, it says that um, apology needs to be made. Um, someone needs to uh, build the bridge, walk over it, okay? Um, men fences, uh, don't look at what happened, but look at what you can do to transform the energy the relationship, the partnership, the dynamic, whatever it may be. Um, you need to reevaluate how you are going through the grieving process also. If you are grieving, um, what does that look like for you? Are you 
overindulging, drinking, or you're not finding balance in um, drug usage or yeah, alcoholism, um, you need to reevaluate um, your grieving process. Um, you could have suffered loss, uh, loss of life, um, also loss of relationship. Um, you need to look into different modalities of how to let this grief go, okay? And what you can do, you might even need to talk to a grief counselor, um, talk to someone about your emotions. Something you've neglected. What have you neglected, Sagittarius? The nine of coins, you've neglected your business or some business aspiration or business idea. Um, if you have a business idea, it's making you restless in your current position and um, you haven't really put any energy into it, maybe because you're already comfortable. Um, you may have neglected a person that you are estranged from. Um, they're good, you're good, you, you both are in your respective corners. You, um, you may have neglected, um, what else here? Neglected the maybe the uh, task of coming up with, you know, um, different uh, ideas in your business because this card talks about savvy business owner. Um, maybe you have neglected your home because um, this also talks about the home. You you might have uh, you might be keeping people outside of your home. Also, you're not letting people in your home or your heart space. You want to you know maintain. Six feet. Give me, uh, give me six feet. You know, um, you just don't want anyone close to you, either literally or physically or figuratively. You just, um, you don't have room for intimacy and closeness. Um, you have neglected uh, all of those things. Um, something you can look forward to this month. Let's see what you can look forward to, Sagittarius. Okay. The Queen of Wands. Okay, so this could be you. Uh, it could be another person. I don't... For the Sagittarius, I rarely get the Queen of Wands. That's typically a Gemini for me, a Gemini woman. Um, but anyway, it could be you. you. What you have, what you can look forward to is this feminine energy, maybe some creative opportunity. Because the Queens govern the Threes, and the Three is... Um, creation opportunity so maybe you can look forward to some creative endeavor opportunity that will present itself to you maybe you will put yourself out there because that's what the Queen of Wands does she's a social butterfly she's talking to people she's charismatic she's also very attractive so she is going to attract um, a certain energy to her so maybe you want to put yourself out there and you're going to attract those uh, creative endeavors here you're going to attract those opportunities um the queen of wands is also um very dynamic um busy it says that you're going to get a lot done in a short amount of time uh it is a yes answer okay uh, she's the quintessential multitasker so um this is what you have to look forward to being a busy bee okay um something that will help you this month Sad. Let's see what will help you this month. What will help the Sagittarius this month? What will help the Sagittarius this month? The moon card. Okay, so the unknown, the not knowing. Um, I got something from the moon from the moon card earlier, and I can't come. I can't recall it, but it was really dynamic. Um, so. Something that will help you this month is the moon card. It reduces to a nine. Maybe your own personal philosophy. Some knowledge about yourself via your emotions, okay? And emotions that you have either repressed, suppressed, some lies that you've told yourself. It will help you to sit with yourself, okay? And be by yourself and go over these emotions. It's not helpful to continue to either suppress or repress them. It's not helpful to self-medicate. It's not helpful to act out. It's not helpful to lash out, um, to bottle up or bottle in. Um, 
it's like you've got two sides of you, the, the wild and the tame, okay? Um, what will help you is getting in control of both, okay? And knowing what side of you needs to show at the, you know, at any given time, okay? Um, what will help you, oh, okay, is medication for some of you with the moon card. What will help you is meditation, Med medication, meditation. Woo. You need healing, okay? When, when those come up, meditation, medication, stuff like that, it's just healing, okay? Um, now, you can take the holistic route, or you could take medicine, and some people do need to take medicine and medication and um, things of those nature, but you need to get in a quiet space, okay? It, it, and it'll help you go over how you're feeling, those deep, suppressed, repressed thoughts, those fears, those uncomfortable emotions, okay? Um, you need to get with someone, a grief counselor, someone can help you go through this. Overall, Sag, you have a really good month. Um, I hope that this reading resonated for you, that it gave you a bit of clarity. Um, if it did, please click the... Um, like, share, comment, subscribe button. Also, get in on the new moon manifestation ritual. If you want to bring in new energy in your life, okay, get in on the ritual. If you want to bring in new love, new money, things of those things, new friends, new emotions, new positive emotions, get in on the new moon manifestation ritual happening at the um, Lions Gate August 8th. Okay, 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, the link is below. Also, request your own personal reading just like this one. Or go over to the website, get any reading there. Or ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Thank you, Sagittarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.